Okay, so hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. And I'm looking at my desktop and I need to clean up all the folders on it at some point. Uh, but let's continue with Commander Keen. Uh, is it going to let me choose the Commander Keen game? No, it's not. Okay, it's just loading Invasion of the Vorticons. Uh, we've already played that one. Uh, do I have to actually load it through Steam and not through the right-click menu? Yes, I do, because that's how the uh, little window pops up to choose which one you want to play. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. So last time, uh, kind of unbeknownst to me, we actually finished pretty much all of this. There's only two levels left from what I looked. Three levels if we include a secret level, which I did read up and I uh, know how we're, or the level where we're able to get to that. So we'll, we'll go see that. But yeah, there's really not that much more left of this. I did pretty much all of it last time. There's these eight levels here and then, yeah, there's, no, what? There's the two levels at the beginning. There's these eight here. So that's 10. And then there's, uh, well, if we go through here, there's two levels up here. There's this one, and there's, there's this one, the tube here, and there's the one after it. And there's also a secret level, which we will need to get to by, I think, a passage in this level. So we'll make a save. Uh, King 2, why not? And no, there we go. Return again. Okay, let's continue. Hurries through the gravitational dampening hole. And there's one of those spinner rock things. Got some rather groovy sounding music. Come on, can I get up there? There we go. Don't like those spinny enemies. They fly off screen and then they. They choose random directions to spin, and that means, like that, they fly in from off screen and uh, hit you. But yeah, that's how what they do. <laughs> Odd looking enemy. Let's get all these. And you can't shoot them either, I don't think. I think they're, uh, invincible. Well, that was fantastic. I landed right on top of it. I need to work a bit better on my timing. Ow. Ow. There we go. At least I don't think you can stun it. Nope. It's not flashing, so... It's immune to my neural stellar. I would like those uh, bags of sugar down there. <laughs> well, I got them. Uh, maybe I should just leave them. But sugar. There we go. Get out of here. They also, like, change the amount of time that they spin around. Oh. There we go. So you can't, like, predict exactly when they'll fly off. get up here. I can. Is there other obstacles up there? Whoa. There we go. How's it just Poe going? So, I kind of know where we're supposed to go to get to the uh, secret door or the secret exit, but 
I don't remember how to get there specifically. I'll make a save. I know that we need a keystone or a gem. I think we need a red one. That was fantastic. Wonderful. Brilliant. Let's load. Okay. Oh, oh, I only got one ball. One ball's not enough. All oh, this pogoing gives Keen a heck of an appetite. There we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. Let me save. Right, so I think to get to the uh, secret exit, we have to go all the way up into the top left. Whoa, lasers. Okay. I think I can go underneath them. Let me just try. Because it's the bullets which hurt me, not the uh, turrets themselves. Yeah. Oh, I can. Yeah, okay. There's a hole there which you can drop down. Where am I going? Uh. I'm very confused. Like, I'm moving over to the left here. And then I guess I'm going down a pole? But then if I jump, I go all the way back up to the top? Now I'm staying at the bottom. No, 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 I'm not going down a pole. I'm looking up and down. Is there nothing over there? I guess perhaps there is nothing over there. There is no way to uh, go there. This is very noisy. Ah, oh, sod you. I was going to say, I, want, I think if they shoot while I'm in front of them, they can still hit me. That one's not actually firing. Oh, two of them aren't firing. There's only that one. I guess that's as far as that secret little area goes. So can I jump up between these, or are they too close together? That would make it a lot easier if I could do that. Uh, pogo stick does offset me. No, I think that's too close. Together, or it's too precise for, uh, for me. So we only have to worry about that one laser there, which I got shot last by last time. I just have to wait for these platforms to go back. There we go. It's all about timing and patience. Okay. Uh, did that open that? No, it didn't. 
Okay. I'll just drop down here. Ooh, there's one. There's a new enemy. I forget what that was called. It's just like one of those electricity balls. I actually have one of those. It was cool. It just kind of takes up space now. And it's difficult to store because the glass is so thin. I don't want to break it. But they are neat when you put, hold your hand on them. Nope. Oh. Right. Like that. I think they go... I think they do try and go at you. Do they have a mouth on the end of their arm, on their in their hand, in the palm of their hand? Please don't get me up here. And we can't shoot that. Yeah, that big energy ball thing is invincible. There is quite a lot of enemies in this, which is just straight up invincible. I can't say I'm too much of a fan of that. It does mean you can't solve all of your problems by just shooting them. But, okay, if I get rid of this, then I think we drop down. Yep. Ooh, hello. Uh, can you not... Like, <laughs> can you look cap the uh, pole, please? Oh, you can't fly up there. Ah! I thought he would just get stuck in the roof. I thought he couldn't go up the uh, the uh, uh pole, pole shaft. Mm. And... He flew to the uh, left. I'll get those. Good. Okay. I guess we've just got to lure that thing around, because I think it's heading towards me. I do like ledge grabbing in platformers. It's sorely missed whenever it's not available. Having it added in Commander King was a big thing. Like how it was added in uh, Banjo Tui. Okay, let's save. Get these milkshakes. Oh, that was close. Please go away. Okay, there we go. Actually, what am I doing? Save here. Just in case that Spyro grab, I forget what it's called flies in from off screen. So what have I got? I've got the green gem. That was right back at the beginning. The platform being appeared, uh, appearing up there is good because that means that speedy grabby thing isn't able to get me while I'm down here. Or rather, it's got to go around it rather than just straight down. I think you can turn the platforms off once you turn it back on. I like the option to uh, turn a switch off, even if there's really no reason why you'd want to do so. It's nice to have the option. And let's save up here. Okay. 
There we go. And... Oh. Oh. Now that one's still... Closed. Uh, do I have to press this switch over here? No. Oh, that moves that platform over there. Right, okay. Oh, hang on. This is before I use the green gem. Is it? Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. As I said, I don't particularly remember how to get to the, uh... Oh, you saw... Um... To the secret exit. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get past you, am I? Fly over to the left, please. Or not. I can go underneath you there. There we go. Flip that, and head back. Right. He actually grabbed onto the <laughs> ground from the side there, somehow. So, there we go. That hatchway is open now. Ooh, hey. Oh, I think that's just where the, uh, I got my head stuck in the, uh, little hole where the, uh, moving platform came from. Damn it. Ooh, just on the edge. Okay, let's save. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go past you all. I'm glad you things can't charge off the platform. Okay, so I go through the door. And there's the exit, like the proper exit, but we want to find the secret exit. Because if you remember when we flipped the switch, uh, when we used our green key uh, and we flipped the switch in that little room, there was a whole bunch of stuff over to the left. Oh, we actually flashed through the uh, ground there. Uh, how do I get over there? Hmm. I might actually have to look up how to do this. over this way, is it? Like I have to jump through the roof over there? Ugh. Come on. Get back over here. <laughs> and of course, I, uh, 
It's the platform. Okay. Oh. I feel like you have to switch between them. <laughs> the damn death noise is something which is just... It's one of those sounds! <laughs> And the way that it plays over and over again if you hit other hazards, which I do like by the way, seeing Keen bounce across the screen because he's like bouncing off spikes is uh, quite amusing. Uh, I, can't, I can't do that, I can't. There we go. Okay, and just jump. Right, so is there an area up here I can go? All that will be for nothing. I guess so. Okay. These have go like out of sync, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> like that. Like I feel one of them is bouncing faster than the other. Well, there's a small secret room there. What are you even doing? <laughs> it's just like bouncing around there. If I can't figure out how where to go, I'm just gonna have to look it up. Is it up here? Because this is a platform you can stand on. Can't like... No. Oh, and once you've pushed that switch, you can't... Uh, you can't press it again because there's no platform underneath it. I wonder whether that's relevant to it. Oh. Come on. Yes, return to game. Yeah. I'm hitting the platform above me. Get out of here. Oh, you can see I have, yeah, 121 shots, but it only shows up on the menu over there as 99. It's as high as it goes, so. Okay, so if I save here, can I jump across this gap? Not if I don't jump. So I want to check on the, uh, side there, if I can jump over there. I don't want to do a pogo jump because, um, that will give me more verticality than I want. And I'll just end up bumping my head against the roof and, uh, descending faster. I can't shoot the switch. Uh. 
I feel like I could make that if I jumped right on the edge of the platform. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm going to look and see uh, what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so it's a gravitational dampening hub. I can see where it is. Um, let me just bring up this map. Okay, there it is. And show. Okay, so here's the level which we're on. And you can see, I can't point to it, but... Um, you can see there's like two rooms connected by a pole on the uh, bottom left uh, and there's that weird sort of bubble shaped thing. That's the uh, teleporter we want to get to. Uh, however, I don't know how to get to that. It looks like there's a little door to the bottom left um, of that bottom left room. So that would make me think that you have to drop down from somewhere. Perhaps uh, that secret area where those lasers are actually does lead over there. I'm going to have to find... Uh... specifics on how to get there. No, oh, that's bugs. Okay, and... Uh, let's see. What's this saying? Cut. Continue back to the right on the purple moving platform and drop back down to the bottom of the chamber. Slide down the pole and run left across the now activated platform, grabbing the tart sticks as you go. Climb up the pole that you came to. Be wary of spike this fearful. Pug up to the little chamber almost directly above the pole, stuck upon some more ammo. Yes. Uh, the spherefall. That's that lightning globe. Uh, then Pogo up to the green platform above. Oh yeah, okay. The game actually does tell you how to get there. It's 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 it, it's a sign which you see in in standard galactic basic basic. So oh yes, okay. I see what you're supposed to do. Clever. <laughs> Let's load. Okay. Hey, this is actually quite convenient. So if we go here and you look over to the side there, there's a uh, poster on the wall just to the left. It's kind of underneath my uh, stat bar. There you go. And that says jump down that arch. So it's a hint at what you need to do. 
which doesn't include getting killed by that enemy. Are you, like, stuck there? That is going to be extremely irritating if you are actually stuck there. I think I vaguely remember that happening with those enemies before when I've played this other times. It did fly down that time, so that would get it unstuck. Maybe if I stand over here. If this spherefall doesn't hunt me down. All things considered, this orb isn't that bad of an enemy. It's just the system. Okay. So if I wait over here, you might fly over this way eventually. I hope that thing can't come down over here. Now I'm trapped in here because of that thing. I did get out of there once before like that. Uh. That the um spherefall doesn't hit the ground as low as it can when it's going over the pole. I guess because the hole in the floor, like, blocks its movement slightly. And we actually moved out of the way there. That was fantastic. Okay, there we go. Good. And I don't need to go down there, I need to go up here. Also. Save. I don't have to wait and... Wait for that enemy to get out of the way. The enemy's fine, but perhaps it's uh, the boundaries of where it could go should have been set a bit more solidly. It shouldn't be able to go up into the uh, areas where the poles are. It should just treat like all surfaces as completely flat. Okay, there we go. So what we need to do is press down and jump here. There we go. Drop down. And drop down here. There we go. Sneaky trick. Get these marshmallows. Get those. Yeah. Just have to wait. Uh, that's safe. I don't have to pick all those up again. Okay. If I remember the secret level, I think it's got rather <laughs> blary music. Which is unfortunate. Or I might be thinking of something else. Yep. No. Oh. 
Oh, hello. You're up there. Okay. Okay. I guess I could stand on that top platform because it's not going to... Oh, well, I could actually grab onto the edge of the platform and not pull myself up. That's, that, that's a better option. If Keen would just uh, grab onto the platform there, you have to sort of push, press into the platform. And uh, if you fall next to it. Okay. So, here's the next room, and it has a whole bunch of lasers in it. Only three of them are firing though. There's one there and it's not firing, so it's not as bad as it looks. It's just mostly bad. And I forgot to jump. Make another save. Save every inch of the way. Is there anything up there? No. Okay, there we go. And I believe you actually have to use the impossible pogo stick jump to get up there. Oh, no, you don't. Never mind. Hey. Some ammunition. Oop. And here's a teleport. Where does it go? Let's save. I think it will get, take us back to the uh, main map. Steps out onto Korath 3. Here we go. Where's this area? This area is actually on the main map. Um, the uh, Omega Matic, which we were moving around on before, is up in the top left. This is sort of all the way down in the bottom right. Let's go here. Base is dangerous. It's a secret Korath 3 base. Oh no! This little, like, Scottish alien dudes. And there's bagpipe music. Hooray! We get so many jars of drink. Oof. I don't know if they hurt you. I don't think they do. Uh, let's see. Uh... Do they hurt me? No, they don't. They just wander around. <laughs> I like their little hats, though. Get up there, and up there. This level is essentially, I think, like, two really tall towers. We just have to... Uh, go up and down them. Great if I had. There we go. Ah. Oh, I held left too much. I thought I was going to grab onto the ledge. <laughs> I 
Is it a bit... I think it's a bit off. Doesn't sound like it powered up completely. Get out of here. Okay, so... We need a blue gem there. Nothing up there. There's a blue gem. I believe these little dudes are the ones which created the Omega Matic for the, um, Shikari. They're like the ones who put it together. In the story, so... Oh! I liked how the Commander Keen games had secret levels. It's like you're getting a little bit of extra game. But absolutely free. <laughs> Mostly because it was like unexpected content. Ow. There's a spinny fire thing up there. I didn't see that. Okay, actually, was there something over to the left there? Right there? Or did I go over there? Oh, yeah, okay. I did go over there, and I couldn't do anything because I didn't have the gem. Did I not save her later? Huh. Don't push me off the... Oh, you little... Get... That. Okay, let's uh, save now that we've done that. Up. Get that gem. Okay. Can I walk up there underneath those, or are they too low to the ground? They're too low. Okay. That's one of those uh, life up kegs. Can I drop down over here? I can. Oh. Come on. I really have to go for that one right above me rather than the one over to the right. The platform, that is. Uh, I, not this platform, but this one. Because I can't... That wasn't, that wasn't a... Uh, Good enough jump. Um, because I, I can't move over to the right. There we go. You actually kind of snap to these platforms. You might. It might be a little difficult to see, but Keen's sort of centering on the platforms when he lands on them. At least when they're that small. Rather nice. Okay.
I like how the background is. It's really just someone's done a squiggle in like Photoshop. Okay. There's the green gem. However, where we need to use the green gem, which is over on that red platform over there, uh, we can't reach. We need to climb up the other side of this place. And there's some of these that I missed. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Nothing there. Oh, they're gonna carry me all the way up to the top. Well, I want to go up this side anyway, so. Wow. Get up. There we go. And up. Okay. Up. Up. There we go. Nope, nope. Interesting backgrounds. I don't think they're used in any other area. So there is a unique uh, elements in this side map, as well as a background. <laughs> Uh. Get out of here. There's one of those little purple robots sliding around on the poles. Little Sparky? No. Little Ampton, I think they call it or something. Okay. No, not there. There we go. There's a blue gem. Did we already get one? both of the blue gems before you open one of the doors. It probably doesn't remember that you have two of them. And you just wouldn't open the door. Nope. I'm gonna have to go all the way back down again, but... Falling through all this should be quite a bit easier than climbing up it. Yeah. Nope. Damn it. I think I have to go from this side. Don't they get out of sync? This one at the bottom moves further than the one above it. Whoa. There we go. Imagine if that gun fires. Oh, you need to go up there as well to get the, um... 
key card there. Okay. Oh. Wow, I did have to fall all the way to the bottom. This is nice. I was actually reading on the wiki while I was trying to figure out how to get here. Oh. And apparently there is a, um... There's one of the, um... <laughs> yes, let's fall all the way back to the bottom. Um, there's a uh, fuse on this level, but you can't... I think... It's like in the top left. Uh, the fuses are what we destroyed on other maps. Oh, yeah, there it is. Over there. And that will end the level. I thought it was going to be off screen. Uh, but we should be able to get to that. I think there's. that means there's two ways to finish the level. Because, yeah, there's a door here. Oh. Okay. Anyway, let's go break that fuse, because that's more interesting than just ending the level like this. And I didn't say it again. Let's do a little bit more in this level, because I can't get enough of this music. I did this pretty perfectly the first, the first time. There we go. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure to get up there, you need to do the impossible pogo stick jump. Like that. There we go. I wonder what that fuse was for. It might have opened the teleporter up back to the, um, back to the base. Maybe? I'm not too sure. Ooh, ooh. There we go. And it's a one-way portal. So. Now it's just the final level. Explodes into the quantum explosion dynamo. It's got appropriately epic music. <laughs> Based off the of soundtracks, which you might have heard before. Okay, there we go. Let's go up here. Now, if I remember correctly, that room over to the right has a whole bunch of shikari dogs in it and we don't necessarily want to go straight into there we want to attack them from below which means going all the way around to the right and let's just do this ah. you. i thought i had an extra bounce there There we go. Got everything. Oh. And those spinny things can hurt you. Surprise, surprise, I know. But I rather like that. It's like, it's actually a bit of like animation of the environment. Bunch of shikadi. They can't actually get you on this one because they, there's a uh, breaker gap. Mm. 
There we go. Okay. Actually, if you stay... Uh... Right, okay, so... These blue ones, they're bad. With the Shikardi around, you want to be on one of the other ones, because they have breaks in them. Like that, there's a single marshmallow. It's a marshmallow, I want it. I wonder if there's something behind it. It could be a tight jump if it was, if there was. I don't know whether there is. Um, I'll try like two more times. Ugh. I do like the platforming in the Commander King games a lot. Um, Keen's responsive, but it's not immediate responsive. He's got weight to him, and uh, like his jump, it doesn't start. It has its own sort of physics to it, which you have to get used to. But it works quite well, I think, once you... ...get used to those. Can I drop down there? I can, actually. There we go. Oh. And one thing I like in this game is if you tap the jump button. Uh, Keen actually has a uh, variable jump, so, which is very important, but it's nice for that extra control. Though I mean, like, with the jumping, it can feel... Like, there's a degree of floatiness to Keen's jump. Can I get all these? Um, which you have to get used to. Ow. Thought I could just quickly jump over that. Maybe there's a switch up the top which I can flip to turn all these off. I didn't make it. Load? Yes. There we go. Or not. Not like I need the lives, so maybe let's just ignore them. As I mentioned last time also, I do remember the ending for this game. It was a cause for much anxiety <laughs> with what you have to do to actually uh, destroy this place. Oh, hello. That's a Shikari master. He teleports around it. I think he shoots lightning bolts. Yeah. He actually also shoots like well lightning bolts, balls of uh, balls of energy. And you can see the uh, energy also sort of travels along the ground. I think you can shoot him and uh, stun him. I think it will take quite a few shots, so. I like the little cape he's got. He also has this sword. Teleports away. Maybe you can't shoot him. Maybe I was missing. Yeah, well, let's just leave him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, these things come into finishing the, uh, game. 
And I said last time also, I don't like those. Or I didn't like them. Uh, back when I originally played this. Because they're scary. It's just a big black box with an eye on it. And, or a red dot on it. And they explode. And they follow you unerringly. It's... It was creepy. And the fact that you have to use them to defeat the game was... It didn't warm me up to them anymore. Okay, so we drop down here. There's all the, uh... Shokuns. Shikari Shokuns, as they're called. But from below here, I was going to say we can shoot them without getting hurt, unless I decide to jump into them. Purely for... demonstrated purposes. There we go. Also, it's nice, it provides us with quite a lot of ammunition. I currently have 212 shots. Get out of here. Memories of those annoying little dog enemies from, um... From, uh... Commander Key 1, 2, and 3. Or... Two and three, or just three? One of those. Spring to mind. No, they were dogs. They were the, uh... They were the... They were the children. <laughs> That's right. They were the children of the, um... Dog aliens. Oh. Okay, so I've got to go... That way, I think. We can just lock those in there. And they kept the Devorticons, that's it. And I had to, you had to keep like jumping around or dodging them because otherwise they'd knock you off platforms and stun you. There we go. I like this background here. The blue with the purple diamonds in it. It's rather more detailed with the extra little, like, dithering on it and shading than other areas. Kind of reminds me of backgrounds which would be in, like... I don't... I can't remember. And other games, maybe like Hocus Pocus, perhaps. That's a game which I should possibly play through. It gets kind of repetitive, though. At least I think... I don't know. Okay, so here's the uh, thingy we've got to destroy. We can't shoot it. But we didn't shoot any of the others, so what if we poke on it? Nope. That doesn't work. Okay. So what do we do? Well, I've already said we have to use those bombs to destroy this. And I don't like this because the bombs tend to kill you while you're trying to do this. Let's see if I can pull this off. Hey! This way! Don't want to get too close to them because if you do, they blow up. Okay, will you move over here? You got to get them really close to the uh, orb here. Like that. There we go. And like that. Congratulations, you have completed Goodbye Galaxy. Commander Keen has saved the day once again, but things are still in motion. With their quantum explosion dynamo in, dynamo in ruins, the Shikari rush to their getaway ship to hightail it back to their own galaxy. Due to a freak fuse malfunction, they cannot take off and are arrested by the Core 3 police for double parking. Oh! Okay, so because we went to the secret level, we actually get a bit of a different ending. Because otherwise they would have escaped. But uh, because we destroyed the fuse, yay, we got a different ending. I didn't know that was a thing. How about that? 
Keen ravages through the control room of the QED for clues as to why the Shikadi wanted to blow up the galaxy. Yeah, it is kind of an odd goal. He stumbles upon a note written in the standard galactic alphabet. Blur. I do not have my translator thingy here. Uh. Keen takes the note with him to decipher on the long space voyage home, not seeing anything else of interest. He's not very observant, even with an IQ of 314. Ooh, MM. Oh no. Back at home, after having saved the galaxy, Billy feeds his rain-soaked parents ice cream and gently shakes them back to consciousness. Hopefully this won't affect his allowance. Uh, yeah, I believe because they've been outside since, uh, Secret of the, uh, Oracles, because he stunned them at the beginning of that game and they're standing outside, so... Apparently the stun lasts quite a while. Maybe they're just stuck outside because they didn't have keys to get inside. See you Christmas 92, where Commander Keen returns to battle for the universe. It will be the biggest Keen ever. You won't believe your eyes. Thanks for playing. Yeah, if once you've already gone to uh, destroying the galaxy, where can you go but the universe after that? Okay. And there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm better than in software. 91. The keenest. I am the keenest. 100. Some about the points. And I guess some music too. Okay, so let me see. What did that uh, note say? Uh. <clears throat> uh, the note, it says. Okay, dear Billy, you fell for my Android duplicate ploy, ploy in the mangling machine, and now you've fallen for it again. I'm blowing up the universe, not the stupid galaxy. This was just a big distraction. Doo doo tag, you're it. Mortimer. P.S. P.S. Ganelech, it's how these dumb Shikadi pronounce grand intellect. Or didn't you notice that, Mr. 314? <laughs> yes, because I think at some point it mentioned that the Shikadi were working for the Ganelech. <laughs> anyway, Mortimer McMire is the uh, antagonist of the Keen series. Antagonist. He showed up at the end of Keen 3. He's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> He's Commander Keen, but with a black and, I think, red, hel red football helmet. And he's got like one IQ point higher than Keen 315, so he keeps belittling him about it because. <laughs> anyway, because reasons. Anyway. That's Commander Keen 5. Took about an hour and 14 minutes. Yeah, I didn't think it would take too much longer. I did think it would be done in like half an hour, but it took a bit longer than that. It's a fun game. I like this one. I do think still Keen 6 is my favourite just because it's got... Well, when we get to that, it's got more things in it. This is proceeding from level to level. Keen 6 has got a little bit more besides it, but not much more. Um, but yeah. I think coming back to these games, the thing which stands out for me the most with them is that they're a lot shorter than I remember them being. Um, and they're not as difficult. I mean, I played through on normal on this. Which, oh, what's that do? That changes how many shots you get per ammunition pickup. But with how many enemies you can't actually shoot in this and uh, stun, you tend to have an excessive amount of ammunition anyway. I had how many by the end of it? Like 200? And I was kind of shooting every enemy which I came across, so the game wasn't... was very generous with it. Damn it. Come on. Oh, come on, that was on the corner. Um, yeah. Anything else to say? Nope. Not really. Keen Dreams is, uh... Well, you know, Keen 5, Keen Dreams, whatever. What, what was I gonna say? Nothing. I've shown this off. Um, if you leave it here like this in an infinite loop, it just keeps going faster and faster until it actually takes out a section of the green bar. Behind, um... 
one of the paddles because it eventually goes off course. Uh, but yeah, I like the enemies in this game. As I said earlier, I think maybe a few of them could have been stunnable, which weren't. Having... Yeah, there we go. I remember it speeding up more. Maybe it's just messing up with uh, DOSBox or something. But yeah. That is Keen 5. Well, thank you very much for joining, and I hope you join me again next time. We'll have to do Keen 6 at some point. Probably, maybe sometime soon. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to have to find a copy of that. Because it is not in the uh, Steam collection of Commander Keen games, and it's not on GOG either. I don't think. Actually, that reminds me, because I remember reading that apparently Keen Dreams came out on the Switch. Which is like, what? I didn't re, re I didn't expect that at all. That was like, yeah. I'm just looking at it now. Commander Keen in Keen Dreams on the Switch. You can buy it, and it's apparently six dollars Australian, which is <laughs> for a game released. Well, <laughs> it says February seventh, two thousand and nineteen. It was released. So it's been out for like at least two years, but. The first I've known about it. Game file size 45 megabytes? What the heck have they... <laughs> How have they managed to bloat Commander Keen Keen Dreams up into 45 megabytes? <laughs> the original game would have been like... What? Under two? That's incredible. Maybe it's like bundled with DOSBox, but I don't think DOSBox would be that big as well, would it? Hold on. How big's my DOS box folder? Uh, seventy-four point three. No, DOS is DOS box is only like four point five meg. Oh well, that's a mystery. Um, but yeah, I wonder why that was released on the Switch. I mean, they're good games, even Keen Dreams. Um, but it's an odd thing. I wonder whether they've got the other ones on the Switch. It would be odd for them to just have Keen Dreams. <clears throat> um. Uh. Apparently it is just Keen Dreams. What? That can't be right. I've got to have the other ones on there. Why would you have just that one? And there's a definitive edition of it too? How full, how def definitive of it can you get? <laughs> and the definitive edition is 243 megabytes. What the? Actually released by another company too. And it was released last year in August. I'm sorry, this is a wormhole I wasn't expecting. Why? What's this? The definitive edition features full widescreen support, 12 all new levels. Wait, what? Really? 12, 12, 12 new levels? Doubling the length of the original 1990 original. Was it released in 1991? And a full music score. The game structure has been reworked to make the game a more modern experience without sacrificing any of the original charms. I wonder if that includes bug fixing. How do they cram like 12 new levels into the game? I guess it was easy to get the rights for this one because it's not owned by id. Would that mean they've come out with a definitive, definitive edition of Keen 6? But I'm pretty sure that is part of... That is owned by id. It's just, uh... It's not part of the uh, Goodbye Galaxy. It's, um... It's two, two game series, so... Or was it because it was never actually released? I can't remember the specifics about it. It's something. Um, it's, it's just not a, available to available anywhere for purchase. Now I'm curious about the <laughs> Switch version of King Dreams. Just. 
Okay. Huh. Uh, does the wiki have um maps of the new levels in it? Oh, is that why? Let's see. On the wiki, it says in September of 2014, a community-funded effort purchased the rights to King Dreams and released the source code under the GPL. It's available on GitHub. Oh, okay. So you could actually fiddle around with the game yourself. That might be why it's released on Switch, because a company picked it up and um, released it. Um... Yeah, okay. I mean, you know, I kind of knew that the modding scene for Keen series was rather active. There's a bunch of these. There's there's at least two which I would like to have a look at at some point. Uh. Yeah, okay. Levels. That's just, that's, that's mods. That's not levels. I, I guess that's what it means. Um, levels. Does it list the, uh, nope. Okay, the wiki doesn't list the, uh, new levels from the Keen Dreams definitive edition for the Switch, but anyway, enough about that. This was, uh, Commander Keen 5. I have to... Regain my thoughts from all that. It's still kind of a shock. Oh well, I prefer this. I prefer them releasing Keen Dreams as a re-releasing Keen Dreams than uh, that mobile game, which I don't know what I'm talking about. What was I talking about? There's no. There was never anything like that. Thank you for joining, and I hope you join me again next time.